Hi friends, you're welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today, I will show you how to make soya beans yogurt. Soya beans yogurt is popularly known as Nutricia in Cameroon. Did you know you can make Nutricia at the comfort of your home? Oh yes, you heard me right. You can easily make Nutricia at the comfort of your home with just a few ingredients. Stay tuned, let me take you through this process and you will definitely enjoy it. The main ingredient for this recipe is soya beans. Soya beans is very rich in proteins, vitamins, minerals, and you can name the rest. For this recipe, we'll be using five cups of soya beans. We start by washing the soya beans. We pour in water, wash the soya beans thoroughly, we drain, we rinse several times until the water runs clear. And then we add in water and soak the soya beans for about six to eight hours. Soak for a maximum of eight hours to have the best result. I soaked mine for seven hours and after seven, seven hours, I had this. At this point, we drain the soya beans, we give it a good rinse and then the soya beans is ready for blending. It's time to blend. Here is our soya beans nicely blended. At this point, we add in some water so as to ease the straining process. And we use a cloth to strain the soya beans. Just like this. We pour in the soya beans pulp into the cloth. And then we press to bring out the soya beans milk. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. And equally turn on the notification bell. We do this process repeatedly till we are able to extract all the soya beans milk. We add a little bit more water into the shaft. So we pour in some water into the shaft. We mix well and we continue straining so as to take out all the soybeans milk. No wastage. Then we set aside the shaft. It could be used for another recipe or to feed animals. What we need for this recipe is our soya beans milk. Into a wide enough pot, we pour in our soya beans milk. You need to use a large pot so that the milk doesn't spill out when it starts to boil. So we put our soya beans milk on the fire and start cooking. We stir from time to time so that it doesn't settle or burn under. So we need to cook our soya beans milk for about 15 to 20 minutes. If the foam becomes too much on top, you can scoop it out just like this and you continue cooking. Once the soya beans milk reaches boiling point, just like so, you quickly turn down the heat and you allow the milk to boil for 15 to 20 minutes. This is so as to cook the milk properly. As the milk is cooking, you will start to see some skin forming on top of the milk after some time. This is known as bean cut skin. You take it out. It is dried and used for some other recipes. So we take it out 
It's been 20 minutes now and our soya beans milk is well cooked. So we need to allow it to cool down. So we set aside our soya beans milk to cool down. After a, after a while, the milk cools down and we still find this bean cut skin on top. We take it out. Our milk needs to cool down to a minimum of 40 degrees Celsius or you, you'll be able to fill it with your finger comfortably. That is the right temperature for fermentation. So we pour it into a flask and then we come in with our culture. We'll be using this yogurt as our culture. So we take out one cup of yogurt and add into our soya beans milk. I'm using a flask so as to maintain this warm temperature for fermentation to take place properly. We add in our yogurt and we mix properly to combine. Then we cover the flask and allow it to ferment for about 8 to 12 hours. I, fem I fermented mine for 10 hours and after 10 hours, we have this. Look at that. It looks just like Greek yogurt. I tasted it at this point and it was just a little bit tangy. I like it just like this. If you like yours more tangy, you can allow the fermentation to go on for about 15 or 16 hours. At this point, we transfer our soy yogurt into a bowl and we use a whisk to beat it a bit. Our aim here is to have that smooth and creamy yogurt consistency. So we whisk gently while adding in a little water from time to time till we achieve this creamy and thick consistency. You can easily do this using a blender. Just pour everything into a blender, add in a little more water and blend. That's going to be very, very easy. And our soya beans yogurt is ready. Our Nutricia is ready. We now sweeten our Nutricia with powdered sugar to your taste. I added in one cup of powdered sugar. I gave it a good mix and then I came in with vanilla flavor. I added in a tablespoon of vanilla essence and I gave it a good mix. Our Nutricia is ready. You can choose to add in food color. I shared the mixture into two and I added in a little bit of food color in half of it and I gave it a good mix. And it's time for us to serve our Nutricia or our soya beans milk or our soy yogurt in bottles. This is the plain soya beans yogurt without color. And this is the one with color. Which do you prefer? Leave me a comment in the comment section. We had a total of 2.5 liters of soya beans yogurt with just five cups of soya beans. At this point, we cover and we set aside in the fridge to chill for about 30 minutes to one hour and it is ready for consumption. Let's have a taste of our soya beans yogurt. It tastes so good, so refreshing, so nourishing, so flavorful. Just give it a try and you will like it. It's so economical to do this at home. Let us serve some for the children. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. And equally turn on the notification so you don't miss out on such beautiful updates. If you have watched to this extent, I want to take this time to appreciate you. Thank you so much. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.